Hey guys, um, I'm here today to do a belated uh, indie small press, whatever you want to call it, indie press project. I think that's what it's called. I don't know. I didn't create the hashtag. Um, so anyways, um, I'm going to be talking about Paradise Brought by Jenny Vall today, and this is a Verso book. Um, so Verso was the publisher for the month of August. Um, and I had already previously, per I guess I just don't need to be holding off, I'm just talking about Verso in general. Um, I had previously purchased, um, because of Yamini, <sighs> like a lot of Verso books. So I think they had some kind of sale on their website that was like 50% off of everything. And so I bought like a lot of books from them a while ago. I don't know if it was this year or last year, but it has happened. Um, so I just found a, a woman in translation that was one of the verso books because august was also women in translation month and i didn't really excuse me read very much for that but i wanted to at least try a little bit um so this is the book that i picked most of their catalog i will say is like definitely very political leaning i think um same with the one that we're doing this coming month um we're doing haymarket books for september um so i will link i'll link the publishers uh both, I'll link both of those below. Um, last month, August, which was again Verso, and then this month is September, and we're doing um, Haymarket. And um, if you want to participate, all you have to do is read a book from this publisher and then make a little review about the video. Or... This is horribly unprofessional. It's fine. I don't charge you guys, so <laughs> whatever. Um, we're doing Haymarket in the month of September. So if you want to participate, all you have to do is read a Haymarket book and then make a video about the book. Um, again, this is mostly just to promote small presses. Um, I guess technically they're called small presses, not indie presses. Indie presses, I guess, are just when people independently publish books, which makes no sense to me. But that's okay. I think independently, like publishing something independently is different than an indie press in my eyes. Again, not, nothing, none of it really matters. I'm wearing my, my Indie Bookstore Day shirt er, from this year, which, you know, didn't happen, but that's okay. So anyways, let me talk about the book, okay? <laughs> um, so this, again, is translated. I believe the author is Norwegian. Yes, Nor she's a Norwegian musician and writer. Um, and so it says that she has honed an intellectual and uncompromising view of politics and sexuality in her prose as well as in records. And then there's a couple of records. Um, maybe if I find something, I'll link that below. Um, so I guess Paradise Rot is the first of her books to appear in English, and it is translated by Marjam Idris. And this was so wonderful. I think I forget... I think maybe in my last like weekly wrap up or update or something when I talked about the fact that I read this, Michael from Knowledge Lost um, mentioned because he he's read this book too. I think that's probably how I knew about the book, um, and just like how it's 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 quite disgusting or something. He said something like that, and I just thought it was very funny because um, yeah, this book is odd. I guess plot wise and premise wise, it's about a young Norwegian girl who is studying abroad in the UK. Um, and she finds a flat to rent um, that she she's sharing with someone. So basically someone lives in an abandoned warehouse and is looking for a roommate. And so she moves in with this person. And that's like the general plot. That's, that's the whole plot um, of the book. But oh my gosh, this book is so visceral, so disgusting, but so sensual at the same time. It's really weird. Like it's sexy, but disgusting at the same time, if that makes any sense. <laughs> um, her language, like you can tell, I, I, I believe that she writes songs too. Like there's something about it that is just so, I don't know how to describe it. I, um, uh, I'm just going to read a little bit of a description of something um, at the very beginning on page seven. The food in the breakfast hall was slippery and fluid, silky soft white bread slices that dissolved like candy floss in my mouth. Glut or no, sorry, glutinous jelly-like jam without seeds of an uncertain berry flavor. Butter, smooth peanut butter, honey, milk, marmite, and ketchup. Soft rice puffs and soggy fried eggs. I remember everything at home being textured. Whole wheat bread with hard crusts and coarse liver paste. The feeling of grains and fibrous meat swallowed with black tea. The whole lot going down your throat like wet gravel. Here I chewed and only the sugar crunched. 
I sat poking a wet fingertip into the sugar bowl and then sucking on it, crushing the sugar crystals between my teeth. Um, so I feel like that's a pretty good indicator of like the language that she uses throughout the book. But again, things get like kind of sexy and weird and like there's mushrooms and like rotting fruit and it's just so good. <laughs> I really, really liked this. Um, I am into weird, gross things though, I guess, kind of, I don't know. Um, but yeah, I would 100% recommend this book. Again, if you're into that kind of thing, I feel like there, there's def, I don't know. I don't think there's anything like horribly inappropriate in this book. Um, again, it is like a little sexy, but not actually sexy, if that makes sense. Sensual. Sensual. Okay. Um, and yeah, I just thought it was so great. The only thing about this that like really bummed me out, and I might have already mentioned this, is that it really gave me wanderlust so bad. The way that she's describing being, especially at the very beginning before she moves into this, um, into this warehouse with this woman, is it's just like so solitary, but also so like sparkly. I don't know how to, to describe it other than I'm sorry, I had to describe it other than being in a foreign, unknown city, um, at, kind of like at dusk or at night by yourself, and you're just like wandering around. Like there's something about that specific feeling inside that I was just so pissed because I can't travel anywhere right now and all I wanted to do when I was reading this was travel somewhere either the UK or Paris or I feel like most of this was Budapest too would be like a real I just like want to get out of this country <laughs> um but anyways yeah so I would recommend it is also quite short um it's less than 150 pages and yeah just like kind of gross but sensual just like thick you know like it feels thick when you're reading it so I would recommend um I will link everyone that is participating that I know is participating down below if you decide that you want to join in just let me know and I'll add you to my list of people that I copy and paste <laughs> into these videos um I also have a playlist that I'll link below that has previous um publishers I should also probably just put a list of all the publishers that we've done and the ones that are upcoming in the description box. So I'm going to attempt to do that too if I have enough uh, willpower today because I am still kind of working through some stuff personally. Um, but I would like to provide that information to you so that you can see what we've been reading because everyone just always is reading new releases by Penguin or whatever or Harper and it's just like these small presses are putting out really amazing and weird books and I just think that we should all uh you know give them some love so anyways uh I will talk to you guys uh hopefully shortly